yet another blow to Dr. Conrad Murray's defense, and it's keeping his lawyers busy today, even though there's no court. Our own Ryan Smith is in L.A. Take a look. Court was dark yesterday in the Conrad Murray trial because the star prosecution witness, Dr. Stephen Schaefer, expert on propofol, wasn't able to testify because of a death in his family. But just because court wasn't in session doesn't mean there wasn't a bombshell. You see, the prosecution introduced a toxicology report they want to bring before the jury that shows that Michael Jackson had a lot less lorazepam in his stomach than the eight pills the defense has been saying that Michael Jackson may have taken. Now, why is this significant? Take a look at the defense's opening statement. Michael Jackson swallowed while, while he was up and about in the room and other rooms in the bathroom up to eight pills on his own without telling his doctor, without permission from his doctor. And when Dr. Murray gave him the 25 milligrams and Dr. Murray left the room, Michael Jackson self-administered a dose, an additional dose of propofol. In that opening statement, they say that not only the lorazepam, but the propofol killed Michael Jackson. Well, now with this new report, that could mean that the lorazepam wasn't one of the agents of death. And it's that, if that is the case, that would force the defense to explain a promise that maybe they can't keep. And you can see just how powerful propofol is and just how quickly it works. Log on to HLNTV.com slash Mike.